Okay. This is Anna Clark. You can find me at www.facebook.com slash Apostle Anna Clark. That's A-N-N-A-C-L-A-R-K. Again, that's www.facebook.com slash Apostle Anna Clark. And right now I'm getting over a cold, so, um, but I am better good enough to be able to read this word hopefully without coughing (laughs) too much through it this is the word of the lord for 2012 and i didn't feel like titling it just 2012 i felt like when god gives the word it's for a season and it may not just have for it may not be just for this year on our calendar it may be for a season and um of time so, I'm going to try to read straight forward right through this. I have two writings that the Lord has given me for a word for the body of Christ and anybody else who wants to listen. I'm going to go ahead and read it right now. Word of the Lord for 2012 and beyond. I heard the Lord say this. Now, I have a word for you to give on 2012 and beyond. You need to listen closely. I don't want any heretics to outlast my remnant, so I take them down. I do, and I continue to in the years to come. You will look for the wicked and find them no more. I do a new thing, and you shall see it before your eyes, and great shall be the fall of all the houses not built on a rock built not by principle, built not by my standard, I tell you, you won't miss it. Let it be known, my prophet, I play not. Oh, I have waited, I have waited, I have called, they have not heard. I have sent some to my sheep, they hear not. I have sent some to the flock, they hear not. I have sent the pastors, I have sent to the pastors, they hear not. I have asked for comprehension of or on my word, and they hear not. They hear me not. Why? They're busy in their temples, flocks of like-minded religious sheep, itching ears, dull of hearing, a rhema word. They haven't. A rhema word they haven't. They need discernment. They sit in the midst of wolves, wolves in sheep's clothing, fleeced the flock, flooded their eyeballs with heaps and heaps of doctrines of men and not a word from me. I see, I see, I see more than I'd like. I turn my face from them and smite a few who have scattered my flock off to focus on another shepherd and not me. So see my hand swift as can be in judgment. Don't cry for some up high who I cause to fall And don't be in shock, for I am not. I call it to be so. Think my justice to not be swift. It is. And in your day. It is actually my day. And it has been declared done. Now wait and see and see me do it. It sets my people free who have been under bondage. You need a king? You need me. For you deceived For you are deceived, many of you, and you are still residing in deception. I send forth my voices, my tellers of my truth, my prophets, and you hear not. I say, watch my hand bring justice. You say, not so, Lord, not this way. I, the Lord, gives increase to my house by decreasing, taking out those that have defiled my people and have led them astray. It's not enough to strike their house with famine or disease. I will do better. I will remove what's like cancers and spots on my bride and give her a clean bill of health, if even by my cleaning methods. I ask you to not weep for what's past and miss my move. I ask you to rise up like warriors ready in the field for battle. I call not just 2012 my time of recognition like never before. But a kindling of my anger has begun, and I take you to another level, even if by fire. 
It was said that the first washing on earth was by water. Let it be known. It's now by fire. And not quite as they've said, my dear ones. Hear the voice of a prophet. Know my words. I send a flame that won't be satisfied till all that's not mine is a flame and gone. I call you out. I bring you out. Gold. But not all can last. Even some of you can't bear because some of you will not make it, but I take you to me and pass your mantle on to another. Don't think that I do this later. I warn you that I do this now. Some of you need to make ready your going away, for you have disobeyed and led my sheep astray and made them to be sleepy, and such is not tolerable in this day. I ask you to pray and seek me now, for... Your hour has come. I specifically talked to the preachers, quote unquote preachers. Do you hear my word? If not, you give thine own interpretation, and I will have it no more. Continue in your ways in condemning my people who see through you, and you will reap what you've sown, and I call you a cannonball ready to be fired. Now laugh if you may, but I have the last laugh. Turn you at my reproof, but you would not. So, in the day of judgment, I shall laugh at your disaster. Now call me a lie, and your words true? See who wins out. I love my people, but you limit them. I call them just, but you defile them with luring them into temple worship. I call them clean, but you foul them up with detestable acts. All of the years I have waited, turn you at my reproof, but instead, no. And I have wept and sent weeping prophets, but now you have gone too far for too long. And I send correction in some to their death. For they aren't needed, they don't obey. And though the people will have wept, I will be happy, for they will be free. They will learn from me that I was all that they ever needed. Now tell them this, Anna. Tell them to straighten up and call to me and ask of me to examine their hearts. For the true ones I will use and many more will come in. But the rest will meet me with the fire. A flame to correct, to cleanse. As a blacksmith with his tools, I turn them over a flame to torch off the useless, limiting things, limiting them from being of better use for me. Don't think that I won't. It's been said. I love my people, but the heretics I can have no more. And a weak and weary sleeping people I can no longer have. I must move forth in power to bring the biggest revival and restoration that one has ever seen, and it will have no end. This kingdom of mine is infinite and can't end, therefore. So rejoice and repent from your wicked ways. I declare justice on my house. I take out what's not to be any longer. And he said, I will give you more. That was given to me on December 28, 2011 at 1253 a.m., and I have part two, so this will be continued. You can contact me at www.facebook.com slash Apostle Anna Clark. That's A-N-N-A-C-L-A-R-K. All right.